Eileen. Sorry I'm late. I was sketching out um, my farmhouse thing. And Tom's doing work stuff. And there's been some hollering and yelling and so on and so forth. Not a good day for him. And uh, I'm going to be close. So I was kind of hoping it was going to be resolved, but the work issues are continuing. If you guys can hear stuff, let me know. I'm going to go down and shut the door. Because I can hear someone talking. So anyway, I can't avoid that. He's got to handle work stuff. And we have a very open house. So yeah. So why he's, I was hoping it's going to be resolved before I got on. But I don't know if it's going to be resolved anytime soon. So. I'm coming on anyway and need a few extra minutes to sketch this out. <sighs> Hi Debbie, Jeannie, Dot, Kia. So, as of course deciding last minute what I was going to do. It's been a very busy day and a very hectic day. <laughs> And it's been a good day <laughs> and good parts, bad parts, <laughs> but I'm here. So we're going to, I'm going <sighs> to chill, chill <laughs> and just art and try to chill out and just art and have some fun here. Oops. So. Now my sketching, um, I did the best I could going for using the book as my guideline. Just so I thought we play this. This should be fairly simple. Now watch me say that and then it won't be. Hey Vicky. Hi Linda. Hi Beth. I, re I got your um, envelope with um, the goodies from the bingo. I appreciate that. Hi, other Linda. So, um, I think... What I'm going to be doing is working today out of the Folk Art Fusion by Heather Galler. I showed this um, a week or a couple weeks ago. I showed this book and I found this at Ollie's for, can't read, I think $6.99, something like that. And, um, so what we're going to do is this farm landscape today. Yeah, that was fun. I enjoyed it. First, I wasn't understanding the whole bingo thing, but then I got it <laughs> after a little bit. So, And it was fun to play. I enjoyed that. Oh, you, you're familiar with Kia? You're familiar with um, with Heather Gallery? Cool. Oh, there's the glare. Take the glare off the book. Yeah, um, I showed this there. I think it was it was at Ollie's normally twenty for six ninety-nine. And it is a Walter Foster book. And she has step-by-steps and actually teaches you how um, you can go through if you took a, you know, how to, to and take a photo of your own and to draw and interpret it into folk art. She shows you um, her, how to do the little fill-ins that she does. 
And then it has step-by-step, -step, which I love, of every project has a step-by-step. -step. It's a really neat book. Hi, Lena. She has neat small portraits of dogs and cats, jewelry size. Wow, jewelry size? Man. I can't imagine doing this on such a small scale. Yeah, um, on here, she has, um, you know, to basically she suggests you go, here's a cat for you. Um, Beth, <laughs> um, she uh, says to go in here and to trace her, you know, trace her image and then, and then you would do it the, you know, if you traced her image, you would do it the exact same size as her and you would get exactly right. Um, I decided, I love this windmill one. I decided to make mine larger than hers because I think it would be easier for me to draw it large, to paint larger and draw it larger. I love this windmill. So cute. Um, this is Dutch tulip field. So you can sketch, you can put tracy paper down and draw these, then put some carbon paper down on your on your paper you're using. And go over your lines and transfer that onto your image. So then you don't even have to hand uh, hand sketch it. But if you're like me and um, you decided, I love the teapot too. If you wanted to make it bigger, then you're going to have to do like I did and then hand draw it. Hi, Holly. Yeah, that you could. If you didn't want to paint and draw this in, you definitely could collage this with uh, your papers. For sure, Debbie. Yeah, if you didn't want to hand paint this in, you could totally do that. Here's Eileen and um, her cats. We make Eileen look different every week. <laughs> this is what she looks like this week. So I'm going to do the farmscape. Um, let's see, after the farmscape, there is a um, California. This is a coastline. Basically, these are places that she has visited. So, that she draws. And um, I like how she shows you down bottom what she's going to use to put it together. I showed you guys this. And the Einstein, which is so cool. <laughs> Eileen has five nostrils. <laughs> And I love this one with the church and the pig and a rooster and a cow. So, yeah, she has some amazing art. Um, it's got, uh, you know, if you wanted to, if you really wanted to do, use this to practice on, you could totally trace this and then transfer this onto some paper and then paint it. Obviously, you can't sell it, but... You could use, you know, just do this for inspiration. And, and for me, it just it's just for myself and for, you know, for fun. So. So anyway, so I decided I, you know, she talks about here to use a fine liner marker and copy her farm onto a sheet of paper to a template. We see how tiny it is. Like she, you were talking about jewelry size. Um, Kia. I definitely was like, I'm tired. I'm so tired today. Um, I wanted to do my large scale, especially for streaming. Um, large scale is easier for everybody to see as well, besides me. So I hand drew it as, as, cl as close to hers as I could possibly get. <laughs> There's a lot of eraser marks, as you can see. So but I think I finally got it. So... 
that's what we're going to do. So the first thing, if you if you're interested, play along. Uh, and you're good at sketching, go for it. So let's see. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to use a small flat brush and we're going to paint in the branches and the middle tree and the roof and the silo. And it's like we're going to go around the moon. Oop, hold on. I knew I'd find something. Where did I do my pencil? Hold on. <laughs> my tree is one. Where did I do my pencil? This hat. Oh, <laughs> I just realized my tree is one leg. Okay. Tree trunk has two edges. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. And I realized by looking at this, I need to make this tree a little taller. Hold on. One second. I need to make this tree a little taller. Now I actually can see this. Hold on. I said if you went if you went by her thing and didn't hand draw it, it would be a lot easier than what I'm doing. But of course I do it the hard way. I decided to hand draw it myself and to make it big. And when you're eh, okay about hand drawing like me, I just basically complicated it for myself. So that's okay. Because I wanted to have it, I wanted to make it bigger. And it's my picture and I can make it bigger if I want to. <laughs> right? There. I just noticed that, that this tree is taller than this tree. This tree probably needs to be a smidge taller. Hold on. Looking at it again. Let's see. I would suggest if you're going to do what I did, definitely do it in pencil so you can keep erasing it so you get it the way you want. If you're good, and want to do it in pen, go for it. I need to do it in pencil. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, that's a little better. Tall tree, a little shorter tree, that's about the same height. All the trees are very fat, that's for sure. I think I made my barn, um, I made my barn, I think, a smidge bigger. Because I wanted my barn bigger. They made their barn quite a bit smaller than this tree, but I wanted a larger barn. Again, make it your own. Hey, Judy. Hey. I hope I haven't missed anyone else coming in. Let's see. It's Joycey. I think I said hi to Vicky, hopefully. Okay, it sounds like he's not hollering down there. Maybe things are settling down. <laughs> okay. As long as it's not me. Okay. All right. Put some black down. Now, Lena, Miss Lena, and uh, I don't know, CB, I haven't seen, of course, I'm late. She might have given up. A um, few others who are really good at drawing can whip this together in no time flat. <laughs> so, if you want to play along, oh, it's a need a pointy one. Hi, Norma. All 
I did not uh, really get a whole lot of Alita here, so anyone wants to draw it and talk a few minutes. Um, uh, I didn't really get a whole lot of art supplies this week. Um, I, I mostly bought a few more of the paper books. I didn't buy any book books. Um, I picked up Okay, I showed you the Portugal book, and I showed you the butterfly. Okay, so this is my new addiction. So let's see. I picked up this one. These are all, I, I mess with my new addiction, I think. Love these books. So I'm going to probably have them all before it's all over with. They are so pretty, and I love these. Look how this is blue. This blue is just gorgeous, right? Oh, it's gorgeous. So, um, I love the green. It's the same thing, but in green. Some peach tones. There's a, this one's pretty with the black and white. I love these books, you guys. I love these. The idea of using these, you could fussy cut out this image. You could also, this comes, these come out, in case anyone has it, was it at my last stream. These come out and you has a little perforated edge and it's one big sheet is what it opens up to. And you could cut you know, one section of it, even if you want to use the entire thing and collage on top, or even like this one, you could embellish, doodle. You could, you could write in here. I mean, it's endless possibilities. These are the doll ones. I'd say the ones that have the some of my books that have the shiny paper. The, it's good. The shiny paper is going to be a bit oh, a sunflower. A lot, a bit harder to do it, but this particular book, Floral Engravings, this one has no shiny pages, so this will make it easier to collage. Yeah, they are large. I mean, when you open them up, they're huge. I really, I should measure it, but I really don't know. It's giant. <laughs> Let's see, it'd be four, basically four times this size. Like, here's the double. Here's the double. So, the double is the same size as the whole book, and then double the book on top of that. And this book, I like, is because it's all doll pages. So, this would be super easy to collage. So, but it doesn't say that when you're picking these out on Amazon. It doesn't really say... I don't know if it really goes into saying like whether it's dull or shiny. The other one I got was this one. Like I said, before you know it, I'll probably own them all. I, I, I think it's just so neat. Uh, this one's floral prints. You get, I mean, it's like having scrapbook paper, but it's much thinner. Um, hey Shonda, thanks Vicky. Sniff the paper. <laughs> These are much thinner, you know what I mean? Because it is wrapping paper, it's it would be easier to collage than you can collage scrapbook paper because I do that, that, I do that as well. But this is thinner and it would be easier to collage. This is these are all these are all dull. You know, so be easy to um, let me raise my camera up. I'm so zoomed in. This book is huge. Um, here's the pinks, petunias, and then you get to this part. These are shiny. You see that? Like that's the shiny. And this is a doll. This is a prime example. Some of the books have got the shiny paper like you would use at Christmas. And, uh, yeah, this was, 
And then it was funny when I was watching the Wanderlust thing with Kasha, she bought more of these books and she's using these in her collage too. So it's all Karen, uh, Karen, the artist who got us hooked on it. Because these, these are, um, because these are more, uh, I'm just not happy with my, I feel like it's just not giving justice. Um, because these are shiny, if you use these, you're going to have to like, this is like, almost like magazine. You know what I mean? You could, you could just glue this down and if you're not going to put anything on top, if you're going to put something on top, you have to modge podge or matte medium it down. And so you could put something on top of it because it is shiny and it will slide off. Now, whether alcohol inks will work on it is the possibility. You bought Portugal and nature one. So I may do on another show, I may do an experiment with alcohol inks on the shiny paper to see what happens. I'll pick one that I'm not um, as in love with to sacrifice. <laughs> um, I bought the still life. The still life is pretty too. This is the doll paint. This is the doll paint section or the doll paper, I should say, sections. Then, now this book does not have as many. And then the rest of this is shiny. Again, if you get these, it's the same as having um, a book, a good book or magazine type tech paper. So you're going to have to glue it down and be happy with having nothing on it or matte medium it down if you're going to throw some paint on it or whatever so just say so you now not all the books have got the only book i found that has all doll paper was the floral and the floral engravings that one was this is half shiny half shiny half flat and I, it's weird that they have these variations it makes it really confusing and i got this one it's, I don't, don't even ask. I'm not even going to pronounce it. I said I'm going to have them all before it's all over with. I'll probably end up buying them all. These are so pretty. And again, these are, um, this one, this book's done the opposite. This one, the others were dull, then shiny. This one's shiny, papers, then dull. <laughs> it's the opposite. I have no idea why. But again, I've, you know, my favorite book so far is, I'd say, in terms of not having shiny papers, the floral engravings. This one is the half shiny, half doll papers. So, and then now I'm getting in, you can see the difference. Now I'm getting into the doll. I don't know. Oh, yeah, don't ask me to pronounce it. There's, can you imagine? Oh my God. See, I tore out a piece of this and used this one already. So this one was a half and half. This one is half and half. This one's again, half shiny, half doll. This one, the entire, this one, the entire thing is all. I think this one is probably my favorite of the these four i bought this one i think because there's no shiny papers and i and i love the designs but the designs are very large is probably the only downside um like i said the shiny paper but this one has some smaller flower prints so because sometimes you might in so there's an advantage to this one because there's some smaller flower prints depending on what you're doing you may want a larger or a smaller you know what I mean and then their larger prints in this book happen to be the shiny paper so and those are, this is the one I showed you all last week this one floral this let me move these out of the way this one I showed you all last week this one's all doll. 
this one has all doll papers, this floral. Did you get this one, Eileen? Yeah, use matte medium over the shiny. Yeah. Yeah, like Pokemon, got to have them all. Yeah, before you know it, I probably will. I'll eventually probably have them all. This one I really, really like because it's got some, um, all doll papers. So this reminds me more of a, a book, anatomy book, the way it's laid out. So I really like this one. So this one's all doll, all doll. Those are half and half. This one... This one was all doll, the natural history. So if you don't want the shiny papers, these, it's luck of the draw because it doesn't say anything on the front cover about it being doll or shiny. There's no indicators. It just says 12 large sheets, 12 large sheets. Again, 12 large sheets. And it doesn't say, well, you know, where they're shiny or doll. So, these three are all doll. These are half, 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 half. And then the Portugal, the Portugal was a half, half. And the, if you don't want one to have shiny, these do not have shiny papers. Depends what you're wanting to use those for, so. So that was my mostly my new purchases was my addiction to these papers. So new addictions. Okay. So now I've got everyone on Amazon shopping. I've done my job. So now we'll go back to working on our painting. <laughs> we'll start our painting, I mean. How'd I do, Eileen? I do good. <laughs> All right, let me lower my camera down. Yeah, let me see if I can scooch everything over. I want you to see the book and see, hold on, let's say too low. I want you to see the book and what I'm working on. So if you want to follow along, you can. I need to come this way. There. Okay. Now. I'm going to go into my black. I'm going to start up top. So, or actually she says to fill in the branches. So we're going to do that on the ground, on the ground, the roof, the silo, and the barn. Then use a broad tip black permanent marker to fill in the sky with blue paint. What? Oh, she's saying, if, okay, I got it. Okay. If you don't want to do black paint and go around everything, she's saying you can use a permanent marker, meaning a Sharpie, to do this. If Because if you are doing it the size that this is, you may want to use a Sharpie because it's so small. <laughs> I did good. Thank you, Eileen. <laughs> so, so that's what they're talking about. So if you were doing proportion wise, you were doing um, the teeny tiny one that she has, um, you might want to use marker. I would because it's so small, but because you'd have to have a really steady hand uh, to do it with a paintbrush if you're going to do it that small. Uh, some people do. I, I know I would not. So, so I do some outlining in black. Start off, and then we're going to put blue in the background. And I can always just blend the blue in with the black if I have the black out too far. I'm not too worried about it. So. I'm going to do 
Where are my spectacles? I might need to put my glasses on for this. <laughs> Hi, Kim. Okay. So next I'm gonna do, I'm trying not to put my arm in the paint. And y'all know I probably will. I'm gonna go around this tree next. Yeah, I really like folk art. I didn't, it's just really cool. Just something I'm just kind of now getting into. Of course, I love all art, as you all know. I love, um, I've been playing the prompt game with Beth. Um, I've done three. I've done three so far, which I love doing that game because it gets me really uh, creatively thinking and pulling stuff out that I definitely would not have used on the same layout. It's me using um, stuff that I haven't used in forever. And um, it just kind of gets the, the creative juices flowing. So I'm really enjoying the props with Beth. She at 8, I think it's 8.30. Mary is uh, streaming with Beth. Uh, I think we're going to do like the multiple camera thing like we did with the journaling by fives. I can't remember who else. Beth is in chat. She could tell you more about it. Um, they're going to be out with, I think they're doing their own art. I don't think they're, I don't know if they're doing a group thing or they're doing their own art and just hanging out and maybe maybe flipping the camera back and forth, but it should be really fun. So I think, did you say it starts at 8.30? I mean, I don't know if I'll be wrapped up by 8.30 or not, but you're, if you're like me, you could do is just open up another YouTube and watch me and them until I finish watch both which I have done before I just mute, I just mute one YouTube and and uh, watch one and go back and forth and mute and unmute when there's multiple streamers on I want to watch but I will try not to make this stream super long so we can go to that um I watched one the other day with Tanya and um, who else was it? Tanya and someone else. Shoot, Kathy and I were there. And, and it was fun. It was it was fun. It, it kind of gets to where like, you know, like where we did our journaling by the fives and they were switching back and forth on cameras. And it's just, it's just really fun to, uh, hear them talking back and forth and seeing what they're working on. They're working on different things. Maybe it was Jerry. Maybe it was Jerry. Oh, it's at 8 o'clock? Okay. Thank you, Eileen. Hey, Art. hey, Mark. Bring your own art. That was it. Okay, Shauna. Or Shonda, sorry. Just saying Shauna because there is a Shauna. So... I want to encourage you to leave, but if you want to flip back and forth, I totally would. <laughs> Don't leave. Leave. Um, so that's part of the reason I, well, one, I, like I said, other than the, um, other than the books, I actually did not, and I bought, oh, and I signed up for the life book class with the extra life book class called um uh called uh day by day and this is with kasha i think anyone could do this i, I think i don't think you gotta be part of the the everything art uh wanderlust yearly class and i took a book i bought and had forever ago and just did it some canvas covers and sort of mimic what she did. She actually made her book by hand. It was gorgeous. And I bought this on Etsy a long time ago. And it, and every 
paper, you know, is different. So they sewed it in and each paper is different, which is what she kind of wants you to do with her book. And where this one's got some envelopes and school paper and map paper and grid paper and other type of grid paper. And that might be a piece of watercolor. And basically, um, it's it's about a day by just to do a little bit of something, which is kind of what I've been doing with Beth. Like, um, it's just getting on and just throwing stuff together and doing the prompt thing and just doing something every day. So anyway, so I did buy, I signed up for that and I picked up a couple, I picked up some paint. Um, I know with, with all the other classes, I am crazy. I am totally crazy. Like, I don't have enough to do already. But it looks like it would be neat. Um, I thought it looked really neat to do. So, I thought it would be neat inspiration. I'm always looking for simple ways to be creative every day. Um, especially sometimes, you know, you don't know what you want to do. You know what I mean? And I get it best. I'm like, I don't know what I want to do. But then we start doing the prompts. And then I start throwing down this and this. And I'm like, oh, you know, maybe I'll do this. Oh, this looks good to get. I do that. Before you know it, I built a whole page. And I'm like, wow, that was fun. So glad I did it. So I think it's about, I mean, you, you also can sit down like this and work out of a book, obviously. Or come up with your own ideas, obviously, too. But I think it's fun to do a little, little kind of uh, messy. Um, sorry, going off camera. A little, like, paint collage kind of whatever art. And if it turns out great, and if it doesn't, it's all about just daily, daily getting messy. Because there are, like, sometimes a week could go by. And I don't do anything art-wise. Like, I, I, and then, you know, you kind of get out of that groove. I think it keeps you in that, um, keeps you in the groove, if you know what I mean. Like, you, you feel good that you at least created something. And then what happens, and then I end up doing, well, then I got to clean up everything. And then I end up doing other cleaning. And somehow it ends up getting me into cleaning up some of my art room. I'm like, I did not intend to do this. That's the downside to it. <laughs> then you then you start cleaning up. You get something out and this out. And you're like, why was this here? Well, maybe I should have uh, end up staying up like last night to one in the morning cleaning up and then doing some rearranging. That part is not why I signed up. That just seems that just seems to happen. The which uh which journal my um this one here or the the um journaling I've been uh prop journals I've been doing with Beth or this one. Actually I didn't show that when I was talked about it. Yeah, I think so too, Kim. If you're in a you know, you don't know what you want to do. I don't know what this stitching is. I'll leave that to the experts. Um, this I I purchased this on Etsy. I don't I don't know if this is this is probably pleather. I don't think it's real leather. Um, and I took did kind of what she did with the canvas and added um, some. Uh, this was the stuff we colored the thylene the under sticky stuff for your fabric. I can't remember what it's called. Um, this was also some uh, felt. This, it was um, I can't remember what this was. Tissue paper or something? No, this was the handmade paper because this is the handmade paper. Though. This is basically when we play with the dyes. And then this is the same material. This is that stuff you use to glue your fabric down that we were playing with with the fabric dyes. But I thought it was fun. And she recommends using, Kasha recommends using a little, a smaller book. 
so that way you're i mean if you go in and and you only doing something this big you you know i mean you could do this like this is one this is a tiny page to slap some paint down some stamps down write your feelings out it's supposed to be like expressing your feelings or whatever if you want if not just play i mean you don't have to express your feelings isn't it pretty thank you linda um so this was all just scraps that we had from um we did the fabric dyeing thing that was a messy stream because i kept knocking it over um and then i used some stamps and colored it in and layered it up and i used staples on all this and glued it down because that's what kasha was using she was using staples to put everything down which i thought was funny um instead of sewing it um i picked up a couple pretty colors um the other colors that she had in her list were colors just normal colors but these were really pretty colors that she that she uses uh picked up that i did not have okay hold on ah uh, i'm gonna do one at a time since my camera can never focus i'm gonna hold it up do the best i can That they this is called Vietnamese Vietnamese Rose. Ugh, you know I can't pronounce anything. It's really, 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 really pretty. <laughs> I've shined up for all of them. This is a rosy color. And this one's called Naples. Uh, Naples yellow red. It's really pretty. Um, I, it's funny as this. I end up recently, I bought a bunch of inks. And not this week, the other week. And actually picked up um, a Naples yellow red light. Ironically. So this is this a new color? Has this always been around? new to me so i picked up a naples yellow red light and ink this is the ink and then it's funny this is what hers is naples yellow red but it's not uh light obviously there's a difference this is ink and this is lighter but I, apparently i like those called the naples yellow red so i thought that was funny that i happened to pick that up so and then that was one of the colors she used so she was using that um, on the stream when she was talking about the class. So I picked up both, I ordered both of those colors. The other colors were more standard colors. So, but those were the, um, the unusual colors, I thought. I had some Amsterdam's. Um, I bought, I think I was taking, um, um, and some other art classes where they were using Amsterdam paint. So I have like red and I think green and a few other colors in the Amsterdam brand. Okay, so that part's done. All right, so I got to do the barn and then the tree. All right. So now we're going to fill in the tree part completely with black. So let me get a bigger brush. I don't know. I just get so excited when there's a new class and just like, ooh new ideas and new takes on things i'm really oh i'm really enjoying collaging i've really been getting into that lately and um that's a, a part of the thing i like with doing the prompts uh with beth and um the book um i was uh talking to you all about a book that kathy showed us how to make she did stream it and showed us how to make it and i actually finally got it made and um 
I put a few things in it. Let me show you. Wait a minute. I have it sitting beside me somewhere. Hold on. Nearby because I want to work on it when I find cute images. I want to hold on. Got to get close by because I, I actually keep it close by for when I find something awesome I want to use in it. I'm doing more of a spring book. Let me show you that real quick. I can locate it. Oh my gosh. See, I cleaned up my room last night and then I lose stuff. Ugh, where is it? I'm going to be, I'm going to scream in a moment. I'm kind of like, I literally like clean up my room and then it leaks up. Here it is. Holy moly. Okay, found it. You gladfully didn't have to buy anything. Enables yellow, red, hint of, of green and blue, a new color. <laughs> Yeah, the uh, free things, Joyce. Yeah, the class is sold out right now. I forgot about that, Joyce. Up above and below in the circle. Okay, I will finish. So then basically, um, this is what I remember I was going through and it's like I was going to like end my stream early and then it uh, always reminded me as in there's like an extra 30 minutes. Like I need to cover up this still with something. But this is that book and we made with that expensive, not kind of expensive, um, heavy card stock. Well, I ended up tearing the edges. Aside since summer, there's a lot of magazines with summer images. So I'm going to do mine with summer country images. And so I did figure it out. And I watched her again. She went step by step Tuesday. And I finally got it. And um, so, so far, I only did, I found like a, a piece of the wallpaper. Or the paper from one of the books I showed you. I found this awesome country window. Um, me too. It was driving me crazy. Thanks, Eileen. Um, hi, Janet. And I put this cute country window with this lacy curtain. And then I put like a little plant on the ledge. And then I found a little cherub. And look, he's standing. He's standing on the edge. Oh, and I put him there hold, like he's holding the window open. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's so cute so he's holding the window open so that's what i'm gonna look for um and i love this this these glass bottles with the pretty flowers i'll cover up the two little letters with something but i think i'm just gonna keep this one as not a messy painty one um it's more of a just a collage book with torn edges country um garden theme and then look for things like this to collage onto it that makes sense yeah you know i mean and that's what i think i'm going to use the book for because so, there's a lot of really cute summer things to find and um so that's what i'm going to do the book for instead of doing the um the other and i still have this one that we made with with her and I still need to cut out pages. And I still may use this to make another book and then make this, um, you know, cut the pages to fit inside and make a book with this and make this a messy, painty collage book one. And then I'm going to keep this one, I think, as just a one like a Packer die would do with just images and no paint, no messy stuff. So. This would be no messy, collage only. And then I think I might finish this book and then this will be the messy, painty um, collage book. So that's my plan for now. Um, I also want to show you these two things. Now you remember I bought, um, do you remember I bought all those, 
Yeah, they do. And you could go there and get them cheap. Windows, doors, garden stuff. Exactly. Like, that's what I'm going to put in that book. And you could definitely find, like, you can get half price self books for quarter, 50 cents. You know, and I, and summer theme is I'm going with them because these are easy to find. So I found these for $1.50 over at Tuesday mornings the other week. I had these books from the Donna Downey when she was doing the, um, you know, weekly collage painting things classes she used to do. I can't remember what they were called. So I just glued the feathers and the flower on this one. And then on this one, I just glued the love, one of the flowers, the little cute little uh, wagon. Since this was already fabric with the cardstock pages, I decided to cover this um, to add the little fabric things to them since they're already fabric. And I think I did a, only did a couple things in this one. So that's what I did with that one there's just some things I did with her in here a long time ago forever ago um, so anyway back to my tree off my rabbit trail <laughs> that's my rabbit trail I, I probably have a couple other rabbit trails but that way y'all won't get bored and fall asleep I'm going to finish painting in my tree here. But, yeah, that I'm looking forward. Joy Seamus has signed up for the day-by-day the, uh, -day art journaling class to Akasha. I think it would be, it'd be, it'd be neat to do. And she said that what, it's something she's basing a class on um, stuff that she does. To help her in her daily art and inspiration, figuring out what she likes and doesn't like, and help her figure out her style, and also um, just kind of use it to express her feelings or emotions that's going on, and et cetera, et cetera. So it seemed really neat. She sold me on it, and um, I'm gonna take. And it's just, a, I mean, a teeny tiny book, so I think I could do that. I already filled the little mini book that. Uh, Kathy's little mini book. I filled one little binder now. So I started, I'm going to start working on the black one. I made mean, one with black pages instead of white pages. And I'm going to start working. I'm going to keep filling those on the little binder books that we got for a dollar. I'm going to be working, still finishing those too. And I like throwing little scraps of tape and paper and stuff in it, you know, just a, I feel like I accomplished something when I finish even those little pages. So, thanks, Janet. Hi, Wolf Princess. I'm not sure what your name is. Is let's see, what's her name? Kia. Okay, so is Wolf Princess is Kia, or is it Amy? Everyone's saying Kia. No, Amy. So Wolf Princess is Amy. I was trying to remember everybody's names. Welcome to my stream. Aha, the boob tape. Um, I did order the tape, not the boob tape. I did order, um, when Eileen put that in Kathy's um, chat the other day, for the, whatever it is, the gaffer tape, when she was showing her jelly journal book. I grabbed the link that she put in and put it in my save for later. And then after showing the um, what she did with it, of course, I bought it. I think that comes tomorrow. So we could play with the tape next week, too. But, um, yep, I grabbed the link, and then I was going to wait. And then it's like, I don't know if I'm going to be making any books. And then it's all or tape. And I was like, damn it, I guess I'm buying it. Kathy has way more jelly prints than I do. I have a few, but I would definitely say I don't have as many as her. She's done way more jelly plating um, than I have done. 
So I guess I better get to it and do some more jelly playing. I'm gonna make a jelly plate book with all that tape I just ordered. I don't know what else I'll do with the tape. Besides just decorate it, paint it, stick it down a journal. <laughs> oh gosh. I get so excited. It's like, oh, it's something new. I haven't done that before. Okay. All right. What else I got to do? I got to do the barn. Yours is full too. They fill up fast, right? Right, Janet? Match the trunk above and below the circle. Match the trunk. Above and below the circle. So I did this. And then I did the outline. I did this through. I think I did it right. I didn't do it right. Hey, Vaughn, match the trunk above and below the circle. Uh, Why well, am I having trouble understanding that? It's, it's wider than the circle. Oh, you mean I need to narrow, I need to narrow this down. I see what you're saying. And I need to bring this all the way down. Now I see what, now I get it. Because this goes all the way down to this line too. Okay. Okay. Above and below. Ah, got it. First, I thought I did something else that. Okay, above and below the line. Because I saw, I think CB may have, or you may have put that in there earlier. Okay, above and below. You're right, because it does go into this white part here. Thank you. These are just lines, but technically that goes down into it. Okay. I stopped at the line. It needs to go through. That goes there. Oop, that, yeah, thank you for noticing that. Now I got it. But I probably do need to... to narrow oh and i paint it wide down bottom like a dummy okay i do need to narrow this down too i need to carry these down to below the line and i need to narrow this okay you're right it, i do need to narrow that see if you trace this you won't do what i just did <laughs> I just draw it and maybe paint it wrong. If you trace her photo, you could save yourself some work. Ah. Okay, I'll let that dry and I'll go back over with the gesso. Or widen the part under the circle. Yeah, under the tree is black too. Like you go in through here. So we're going to go down here. And then we're going to paint like this area black is what Eileen's talking about too. I'm gonna turn my book. I'm trying to. I'm trying to keep my arm out of the paint. 
and I get to look at it sideways, but I'm just trying to, I'm constantly putting my arm in paint. And that's with you all not here. I just don't think. I just start. That's really a bad habit, too. If you're doing pastels, you cannot lay your arm on the paint. You cannot lay your arm on what you've already done. It's a huge no-no. It's a bad habit. Okay. I'll switch to a smaller again. So I can go in here, fill in this. This is pretty... Um, I think it's cool about this folk art is it's pretty straightforward and I think no matter what your art ability is, most everyone can do this. And it's so fun when it's something that you can do if you don't have great painting skills or great drawing skills yet, you can still do this. And my barn and my tree are touching and the image, hers are not touching. <sighs> okay, Kim, find the part that goes up to the circle and taper it between the tree is black. That should fix it. Okay, yeah, it's like a like a really um, purpley blue. Yeah, I think I do need to fix it a little, fix the trunk a little bit because it's, it's like a, this color blue. So I do think I need to fix it a little bit. I think it will look good and better. I should say it should look better if I fix it. Hopefully I can cover that with gesso. I should say do as the book says, not as, uh, as I do. <laughs> okay. If you use, like I said, that's why I made my picture bigger than smaller. As she said, she did use a marker. So you could use a Sharpie instead of painting it like I'm doing. But Sharpie is, I mean, it isn't paint. It is. It does look different. So I decided to make it difficult on myself and paint it. If you had a narrower brush and a lighter touch, you could definitely make these lines skinnier. Like I said, but this is the way I'm doing it. I want it big and bold. I picked up a couple other little books I've got, I just remembered, that are more like... They're probably meant to be, hold on, it's not black, it's blue. They're probably more meant to be, kid, they're more kid-oriented books, but since I have, am a kid, nope, um, it, it kind of, for me, I'll show you it in a few minutes, um, it's more of a help me with drawing more than anything. So I will show you those books in a minute. Because Tom looked at me like, why did you buy those? I'm like, because it helped me with drawing. I don't draw very much, but I do want to get better at it. Okay. Now, let's see. What else was I supposed to paint? Oh, yeah, this. Black. And, um, so, oh, yeah, let's just, just go around this, basically. Because around here, we're going to have a blue sky. Now, since I made my things large, my blue sky will be smaller than what hers is. And since I'm kind of in my, I'm laying my arm and everything again, in my, um, Summer painting mode, garden theme. I thought this fit my fit it it pretty well for what I'm in. Like I'm doing the 
I picked up a bunch of cute garden magazines and I can't to work on that little book. So that's kind of nice because if you're not, let's say you're in the mood, like you might want to collage or you might be in the mood to paint one day or acrylic one day or in the mood to do maybe watercolors or whatever. You know, it's just fun to have uh, something different to, to work on depending on your time and what your mood is. And I think that's part of that class too. It's just about finding time to create every day. Luckily, we most of us in this group have a big array of um, medias we use. We don't use just one thing. Now, some do, but most of us use more than one. So it keeps art interesting. Woo, it's going to be so cute. Oh, wait a minute. I roll this up. I missed something. Oh, that's true. I could use Posca pens. She was basically saying, hitting around using Sharpie, which Sharpie does not look like paint. Hey, Teresa. That's a good point, because then it'd be easier to keep your lines than what I'm doing, which is taking forever, by the way. Sorry. It's taking forever. I'm here to... Um, show you some cool stuff to do. All right. Uh, here's a, that's a good point. I forgot about Posca. I was thinking like you Thank you. Debbie always has a thinking of someone has a brain because I get to use mine half the time. All right. Now I'm going to have to go in with white paint and fix where I've got black in here and I shouldn't have done. So I will have to go back and cover up my boo-boos. Because, <laughs> yeah, that's where I kept laying my hands. My arms. So I will have to go back in with some white paint. I'm going to have to use some heavy body paint or some gesso, white gesso, and fix all that. But that's all right. I want to dry this so I'll lay my arm in again. And I dry this so I can go back in and fix it. Oops, and I forgot the tree there too. Thank you, Debbie. I forgot why I wasn't I wasn't even thinking about the uh pasta thing. That makes life much easier because I'm like, it's really hard for me to, to do really steady stuff. So simple that was. Why didn't I think of that? You should have yelled that at me sooner, Debbie. <laughs> hey, go get that. That could have made finer lines. <sighs> oh, wow. Okay. Let me get my gesso so I can try to fix my tree. <laughs> I like it a foot. A pasta and a roller. Yeah, that's true. You can use uh, a ruler. You know how Eileen and I are against rulers, right? <laughs> we don't like rulers. Kathy's gone to the dark side. She's like, uh, she's like Janet now. She likes rulers. She's gone to the dark side. Made that a little too wide too. Probably should have made that thinner. Well, I remember I had to get Josie bought me a ruler to help me read it. So, you know, I'm not too thrilled about rulers, right? Josie felt sorry for me trying to do measurements. Ooh. 
groups. And I like that ruler and I appreciate it. I definitely appreciate that ruler. So now I gotta fix that line that went down too far with the white. Good lord. I'm gonna dry that, let that dry a second, and then I can go back in and another coat. It's kind of bumpy, it's not very smooth. I probably should have made it a little bit smoother. It's a little it's a little 3D here. Probably put too much on. I was trying to cover it up in one coat, wishful thinking. Wishful thinking. Here, I'll throw the rest of it over here. Where I got it over. Where I messed up and got it in here. This does require a steady hand, but it is a cute, really super cute drawing. All these are really cute, though. I really like all of them. Like the little girl in the book, the lady with the cat. There's some really cute stuff in here. Some cute inspiration. Also, you can see my pencil lines where I was sketching it. Cover those up a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it would be good if I got, since this is supposed to be white against the black sky, I do need to have this white, not actually have black smeared into it. Yeah, get a Posca pen. Make your life a lot easier. <laughs> they kept thinking Sharpie, Sharpie. Why would I use a Sharpie? Unless you did the whole thing in Sharpie. I'm gonna let, again, I gotta leave it alone. I just gotta let it dry. I'm gonna move on. If I can't get this. Okay, straighten out the very end. Right. I know you do. <laughs> Silly ruler lover, ruler lover. <laughs> she is. If I'm going off camera, I'm sorry. I pushed it up while I was working on it. Got to pull it back. She is. She is a silly uh, ruler lover. <laughs> I like that. I'll tell you what, we have the most interesting group of people here. All different talents, all different silliness, I tell you. Okay. So, leave it alone. I know, I keep wanting to touch it up. Leave it alone, leave it alone, leave it alone. Walk away, walk away. Finish the black. Okay. I got focus. I got finished a lot. So we can move on. Okay, so this one I can go up to the line. So what I need to do here is use my Posca pen. So I don't have to like I can do that. And then I can fill the rest of this in with paint. And you're a perfectionist, and you really shouldn't be. Uh, and especially for me, I don't really know if I have the skill level for some of this to be perfectionist. <laughs> you got to just let it go. Just let it go. All right. After all, this is just for my journal, so is for fun all right and this this stays white this is black what are you eating what are you eating uh, do you not supposed to be eating that smoky he's eating a container 
He's trying to get my attention. All right, she's trying to get my attention. It's working. You know, finish outlining before I do anything else that doesn't make sense. Oh, I gotta do that top line still. Well, that I, I did. I tell you, I will admit, I did use a ruler. But I drew that line across there, so I will admit that I did use a ruler for that straight line I drew. Right there. Uh, I did use a ruler there. Because I kind of hand drew it and then it was going downhill. I was like, dang it, I'm going to have to actually use a ruler. I'm going to have to break down and use a ruler. There. Are you happy, Janet? <laughs> Woohoo! Straight lines. What do I do with my cap? Uh, here it is. <laughs> CB went blind. I used the ruler. That was scary. Here. Yeah, I'm gonna get all over the next pages like I always do. Now I have to, now I'll screw with it. I just going down into it. Downside of working in a journal versus a, a canvas or um, an individual paper is you can you don't have to worry about getting it all over the pages that's behind it. You always got to protect the other pages. All right, now I go back to my bigger brush. Oh man, you are way behind. 
Yeah, sometimes a leg is just, I don't know if it varies, like, where you're at or the bandwidth. Like, I don't know. I've had that happen before. I see Eileen comment on stuff before I actually see it happen. Eileen's got, the like, the speediest internet there is, I think. She always is uh, commenting before I see it or hear it. So whatever Eileen's doing with her internet, she's doing it right because she's always seeing it before I do or hearing it before I do. <laughs> yeah, she's not teaching Amazon. <laughs> now, I don't worry about either, Janet, if I'm a little bit, you know, lag from where everybody else is seeing it. Like you said, it's no big deal. It's no big deal, Joycey. The bigger deal, I think, is when the streamer is really lagged and they're not seeing the comments till like when y'all tell me to do something but then time i see it it's too late i've already done it <laughs> so i think it's worse for the person streaming um when you you guys are typing in stop it we see it later and then it's too late now my like, crap so I think it looks really cool just so far, just being black and white. I mean, just the black and white um, just looks really neat. Okay, so that's pretty good. And then I can go back in with the, the blue there and then that will hopefully help hide all that mess. And then this back in I covered up. I shouldn't have. Okay, I think I got all the black covered now. So now we get to move on to the next step finally. Okay. That was step two. Holy moly. I'm just now done with step two. All right. Step three. We're going to paint all the grass and trees with one layer of green paint and let it dry. Apply a second layer of paint to the first and third trees and a few on the field blocks. Let the paint dry if you wish. Go over to darker green areas. Yet another coat of green paint. Let dry with a black permanent marker. Add detail to the field near the bottom of the horizon. Which means that little doodles. Okay. So. Put my brushes in here. So we're going in with some green paint now, and I'm thinking I could do several coats, or I could just use dark green and light green paints, and then I don't have to do a bunch of coats, which is probably what I'm going to do. I think I'll probably just do a uh, cheat and do like light green, dark green. Let's see if I can cover up my 
pencils and stuff through here a little bit since this is going to the tree trunks here are going to stay white these are not going to get painted so they're going to stay white at the end that's going to stay white and this is going to stay white I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna put this on, and then I can always go into another coat. I'm gonna start the green. That's gonna stay white. That's gonna stay white. That's gonna stay white. And then all this is gonna be white. I'm gonna put some gesso on here just to um, lighten it, brighten it real quick. So I have a lot of pencil marks and stuff when I was sketching this out. I'm just going to go ahead and a little bit white to make it look better. Cover up a little bit of that. I can fine tune it as I go along, but at least the part where I can see pencil marks and stuff I want to cover up. So that does not look good. All right. That little part, that's going to stay white. If you were neater than me, you wouldn't have to do this. Beth Eileen, I'm very messy. I'm the queen of messes. Okay. Clean that up. Step two, have blue, or does step three include it? I think, oh, step two talks about the green. Step, I would say step three is a green. Um, Step four actually discusses doing the barn. You're right. When does the blue come into play? Oh, shit. She's right. Thank you, Fawn, who's smart. I need to do the blue. Hello, blue, black, white. Then do the green. If you notice, there is a really dark line of blue on the bottom of that. She's right. Totally skipped a step. Black and blue. Yep. Thank you. I'm going on the green. I was moving on. Blue. Thank you. I can't help it, right? I'm just like, oh, green. It's going to be fun. I'm going to have trees. Let me get some of the black out of my brushes before I do something dumb. All right. It's downside of black. It does icky. It's going to icky your water up really quick. I'm just going to add another coat just so. Keep doing that while I work on the others. Okay. Thank you, Vaughn. Okay, Debbie. I'm going to do this bluey purple like they did. It's a... Uh, it's cobalt, which uh, as close as I can see, it seemed to be to what they what she used. She doesn't go into specifics on like what uh, color blue she used, so I'm just just eyeballed it and felt like cobalt looked similar to what she used. Dan and nice from so streaming. I have all my friends here helping me out. I was, was, I was going to do the green and I was skipping the blue sky. I had no idea why, but whoops. Maybe it's because we like green, right, Eileen? You're going on down to uh, our favorite colors.
so we got a break from rain today, which was nice. We've had rain for days, and uh, today we got a break from the rain. There was a chance of storms today, and I think tomorrow, and we didn't get any today, so I think the birds are happy. They've had nothing but wet bird seed for days. I love feeding the birds, and they don't like, they definitely do not like wet bird seed. over a little bit. Keep one off camera. Okay, getting dinner, Vaughn. Okie dokie. Wow, two hour drive to a doctor's office. I think I have to go with two coats on the bottom layer because it is a darker a darker blue so I'll come back and touch that up That makes for a long day. It's two hours there and two hours back. Okay, Tim. Between the appointment and two hours there and two hours back. That is a long day. That's, that is a drag. Debbie in, uh, inspired to do a folk art for tomorrow. See, Debbie's getting ready today for what she's going to do tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, I, I decided what I was going to do today about 30 minutes before I stream. So, yeah, better to do Debbie's way. All right, I'm going to dry this real quick. So I can go back over this part that we just did with a little light. Oh, Georgia. It, oh, you get the water every day, Shelly. Oh, you got no rain. And we've been, you know, that is normal for us too in the summer. And, uh, I guess, you know, it has not been. This has been the wettest year ever on record. I think we're like, one point we we're four to five inches above normal. I know we probably, I know we have probably exceeded, exceeded that by now. It's hard to gotta remember the water every day. And it's not particularly fun to water every day either. I know that we um, planted some new shrubs and some shrubs and stuff this year and we were having to water it in the beginning when we first planted it but we have not had to do that much since because it's been uh, so rainy 
All right, so they have this part of the picture darker. So I still got to touch up that, but I'll probably have to go, I might have to go over this part maybe three times to make it sure it shows up darker. And that makes sense. As it's in underneath. It dries a second. Might do some watercolor, Debbie. Okay. Oh, crap. I might think drop. Oh, man. I Kim can't get chat to show on her tablet. Dang it. You guys saw the problems I had last week. They're probably YouTube is changing things because I have noticed when I go to certain people's streams now, I don't think the one, the 1080 is going to be free for, oh, I think if on some point it's going to charge us for it. Because I've noticed that some streams, um, there's not even, like, you, there's not even an option to go any higher than 720. Some stream, I don't know if it, why, but some streamers, 720 is as high as it gets. And I've not noticed that everyone streams, just some streams. And I'm wondering if that's the beginning of charging us, if we want to see it, uh, this, you know, charging the streamer, if you want people to see, see it in the higher whatever resolution that you're going to have to pay for it. And that's what I think they're doing. Because I noticed that um, several people is 720 is the highest. Has anyone else noticed that? You've been melting? Oh, we had a couple of hot days. But Georgia, I imagine, has to be way worse than here. When the humidity kicks up, uh, for the holiday weekend, when it's when that humidity gets really high, it makes it really unbearable. Going back again over the bottom half just to make to make it darker, like in the photo. So I'm drawing it and going over it because this and all is supposed to be darker. Okay, Vicky said you to go out and back in to trigger her chat. 720 is as high as your goes too, Holly. See, that was not the case before. And I'm noticing as gradually my streamers, one by one, 720 is the high. It could be the camera. So that's what I'm wondering. Depends on the type of, is it the camera? Is it uh, YouTube going to like charge the streamers? Uh, eventually, if you want to have the 1080, they're going to start charging the streamer. I mean, maybe it's just the camera. I don't know. I haven't decided. I don't remember seeing that before. That's why I'm not 100% sure it's the camera. Because I don't remember uh, that happening before. But I could be wrong. I mean, nothing stays free for long, so that wouldn't surprise me if if things did change. All right, so I'm going to walk away from the blue. I'll come back if I need to add more. 
And we're going to go with the light green and dark green and start working on the trees. But I'm going to do light green, dark green, I think, and not just the, um, you know, green over and over. I think I'm going to do light green, dark green. And there's also one looks yellowy. One looks yellowy green. That one looks like a yellow green, which is different than the other two greens. Might have to make, oh, I might have to do some color mixing. Where's Vaughn? Don't tell her. That's a yellow green. I may have to mix a little bit of, let me do it off the side. I don't know how it's going to look. I may have to mix a little yellow and green for one part because it looks like one is yellowy, more yellowy green than the other. We won't give Vaughn the satisfaction going to mix colors. We just aren't. Okay, yeah, maybe even a little more yellow. And one looks, there's like a, a light green, a dark green, and almost like a, a very yellowy green. And I may have yellowy green, I don't know. But I have yellow sitting on my desk, so I am going to just mix it with the green I'm using. Oh, no, she knows I'm mixing. I'm busted. <laughs> I'm busted. Looks like, like this one is more of a yellow green. That kind of makes sense. I mean, if you want like the the cool t different tones. Except I mix up way more yellow green than I actually need. Like that one's more yellowy. And this top half looks more yellowy. You like my terms? Yellowy? Like that's an actual word? It's yellowy. This one's actually half yellow and half green. I'm going to draw a line through that one. Okay, and the other seems to be more Oh, good night, Dorothy. All right. I don't know if I said hi to Wendy or not. I've missed a few people. I missed Shelly early to start talking about her weather. Sorry if I missed you coming in. And if there's anyone else I missed coming in, I'm concentrating here. All right. Let's go with the dark. Ooh, that one's separated. That's weird. Hold on. Stir, stir. Let's get some turquoise in there. Wow. Oh. Separated on my mat. That was weird. Okay. This one's going to be solid green. That's really liquidy. Let me get a thicker paint. Grab a heavy body instead of the, the fluid. And of course, that one, I look at it and then the lid popped off and of course leaked out my fingers so they can't go one screen without having paint or something all over me. God. <laughs> that ever fails. That ever fails. <laughs> yeah, I was like trying to figure out what color that green was. It leaked down my nails. Told you guys, I have, I have always messes and catastrophes. Every stream I do. 
even Tom's always like, there's always something happening at your stream. And I'm like, I know. So sometimes it's my fault. Most of the time it's my fault. Sometimes it's not. <laughs> Oh, I just noticed something. This actually has a specific line there. Oh, bye, Lena. Dang it, I keep going off camera. Just shout at me when I move off camera, guys. I keep going off camera. I don't mean to. I think because I'm trying. Well, actually, I don't know why I'm, I need to raise my thing up. <laughs> yeah, I've seen the book anyway. <sighs> Never enough desk space ever. I should be able to see the book. You could definitely paint this in oils, Vaughn. Oil sticks or oil paint. You could do this painting in oils really easy if you want it. If you didn't want to use acrylics. And like or like um, Debbie mentioned, you definitely could um, you definitely could collage this with with uh, just green. Yeah, you know, to you some green papers and blue papers and you could definitely make it like the apple project that we made with Cass this summer we painted the apple papers and we painted and we collaged over top of it so definitely could do that heard they're green oh that's right they did layer after layer I mean the other was just too runny I mean that was just super duper runny that's going to take me all day to get this covered. All right. So let's see. I think I need to do. Oh, I may have an extra line. Somehow. I think I did something wrong. One, two, three. I think I did some... No, that's half checkered. No, I'm okay. Let me draw a line. There's actually one, two, three. Actually, this should have been done half. I think I did something wrong. One, two, three. I think I did something wrong. I think I got one extra line I don't need. Black, dark green, half done, half dark green, and two lines. I think I got more than I need. Oh, well. I think I got one extra set. The light green should have been there. I guess I could do is just keep it where I'm going and then just do this one and not worry about it. Just not going to worry about it. Okay. Yeah, what we'll do is go at the Posca pins and add some of those black lines back in. So I'm covering up with the paint, so I'll have to go back in and add those in. I'm going to use the light green in that middle one. And 
the light green here. Oh, good night, Norma. Gosh, I'm seeing, I'm keeping up with the chat very well. Is it late? 840. She may be going over to hang out with the other group, too. Sorry, I should have been further along than what I am. Or if I'd had my you-know-what together, I could have gotten on and streamed a little sooner, too, which might have been good. It's getting my you-know-what in gear today. Okay. I'm saying you know what because I'm trying to be good. <laughs> trying to be good. Yeah, the I thought the psychedelic um, page from last week we did. Um, that actually was funny as hell um, with my page freaking out the camera. That was hilarious. I I was sat there rewatching that several times because that was just so spontaneous and unexpected and caught me off guard. And Tom said it was my art causing it. God, it was funny. Like if you need a good laugh, that yeah, just fast forward to the psychedelic part of that stream. I could not stop laughing. And even watching the recording, I was laughing. Uh, yeah, I watched that and I'm like, I just, that was too funny. That's what I mean about like, um, I always end up having weird stuff happen. That was one of them. All that, that busy um, glitter, glitter glue and fuchsia paint just freaked the crap out of the camera. That was hilarious. Again, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna clean this up with my Posca paint pen now. I know I can use that. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with a lighter green on the other on this one. Now this one's the checkered. This one, this one, this one. Light green. Actually, this one should have been dark green. This is not a really dark green. She used a much darker green. I don't have anything darker in the heavy body. I was back in the 80s. So funny. Night, Vicky. All right, I'm going to dip into the light paint. Yeah, Kathy, um, Kathy did the play it along with the props um, last night. I like the little cat tags that Beth was making. I love the little, um, she, she had a paper, she painted cat tag and she took like a thread and she thread, put the thread through the paper card and she, she put these uh, three little beads on and made like a little kind of beaded necklace for a cat. It was so cute. Flat.
I'm not doing. They're doing a tag a day um, kind of thing. Um, I already feel like I'm doing. I'm going to be doing art a day with Kasha plus all these other classes to where, yeah, I don't want to do a tag a day too because I know I'm not going to keep up with it with everything else. But it is, um, it is, it is neat though. I just know that I'm already like knee deep in classes. They really can't keep up with what I've already signed up for. And I just keep signing up for more. All right, I'm going to put some light green up here. Maybe more of the, a mix between this light, weird, yellowy green and this one. I'm going to go and add, looks like, some red circles. I might use my uh, Posca pen for that and some outline with some black circles. Yeah, they were cute, aren't they? I think they're adorable. I think it was neat. It's a neat theme. And it's all inspired by the napkin, which uh, the napkin art, which I thought was neat. So, that could be a fun um, Inktober thing to do. Um, you know, where Dee Dee, um, whoop, uh, Dee Dee will, like, pick a theme, or it'd be sea life or whatever. You could do cats as your Inktober theme. Something like that. Anyone else doing anything over the weekend? I know last weekend was Memorial Day, so a lot of parties. Um, I just had my dad over. Um, there's a lot of parties in the neighborhood. There are family over and neighbor parties. And, and there was no fireworks in my neighborhood, which I was really surprised. My old neighborhood... Um, they're always shooting off fireworks. I was quite happy that there were no fireworks because they make the dogs so nervous. Um, I was happy that no one around in this area shoots off fireworks. My old neighborhood, everyone shot off fireworks for any, in all occasions. Once 4th of July, Memorial Day, you'd hear them all summer long going off until the kids go back to school. Yeah, I was really happy that there was no fireworks this weekend. So, I don't know what it's going to be like here on 4th of July, but, um, so. Oh, owls. The owls would be a really cute, um, Inktober theme, Lena. Yeah, I'm going to do Art of Day with, with Tasha. Me and Joycey. Yeah. Uh, Joycey signed up. Joycey signed up for it too. Uh, I think it's only 15 days or something like that. Um, I think it's classes for 15 days, but just to kind of keep you inspired after that is the whole point. I don't remember the napkin name. It was, uh, she named the artist. Um, I think they got off Amazon or an Etsy. 
and she said she's been trying to mention the um, the artist um, when she's doing them. I don't remember. They were they were super cute. I, I could see I could see why I could see why everybody was was doing those. Oh, that was supposed to be dark green. Oh no! Luckily, it's all laying here. Now this is supposed to be white. That one's supposed to be dark green. I suppose you could do whatever colors you want. You know, you don't have to do you don't have to do the colors that they're doing necessarily. You can make it your own. Add that color. I'm do some color mixing again. Eek! All right. We have a long-standing joke with Vaughn. She's trying to teach us color mixing, and Vaughn uh, was going through, and um, Eileen and I decided we would just own all the colors. But unfortunately, I still have to color mix sometimes. We're like, we'll just own them all. And here I am having to do it sometimes. Because sometimes you don't have the right darn color. Or if you want a variation of one you're using and keep your piece cohesive. I guess Vaughn's right. You have to mix colors sometimes. But I try to avoid it if I can. <laughs> can't help it. I'm lazy. I'm lazy. This requires thinking. Yvonne is very good. So she's, she's a good teacher. If you click by her three dots by her name, she streams on Fridays. Um, Friday mornings, 10 a.m. roughly Eastern. She's a very smart and talented lady. Kathy's it here. She is also a U streamer. And Deb Epps is here. She's also a YouTube streamer. If you're looking for new people to follow on YouTube, if you're watching this, you can watch the replay of the chat too. So That looks good. I think I just need to add some dark green on those. That looks pretty good. I, and then I have to go back in and start adding. Uh, I think the next one would be to add some of the red. Because we got the white. We got the blue. We're doing the green. And then I, then I get to go adding some doodles. And some red. Doodles. I like doing doodles. <laughs> now I'm going to add the running paint that I ditched. I should go mix it. I mix the runny paint. I mix the runny paint with this paint to get a little different color. Oh, what's wrong with this paint? It. I think the paint must be going bad. I've shook it and everything. It's still really gross and runny. I'm gonna be throwing this runny paint away when that stream is done. I'm gonna use this runny gross green because it's really more the tone that I wanted and mix it with this other, see if we can come up with something in between. You like my deterrent, it, it's, runny, it's a runny gross green. Uh, I think the paint's just old. And that happens when you have a ton of paint, you don't use it all, it will go bad on you. It seems like the tube paint stays better um, longer than the fluid paint, like the this goes bad quicker than the tube paint, in my experience. Okay, it was from. I can't take anything I have to do every day right now. 
someone sent her cat. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Kim. Yeah, if you if you know, and I think if you could do little pieces of stuff here and there and your life is chaotic, you kind of feel like, hey, I've I made a happy balance, you know? Like Kathy was saying, things are sometimes get so hectic. You can sit at nighttime or morning or whenever it's quiet for you and um, and just do a little page or whatever. It, it makes me feel good. I've done three of three prompt pages and it just and I really like those. I really should make up some of those little prompt things that they do, make my own up, and then have, like easy ones. I know we've done that before with Dee Dee. We had the prompts. Um, we used to do those a long time ago because the Kyla, the Kyla give hand, we started that. Um, they used uh, popsicle sticks. I don't know who started that, if Mary or one of those, and then they call them off, and then. Um, and everyone goes getting the stuff like that. It is really neat. We could maybe make our own. And I like that to where you just pull from the popsicles. The popsicle sticks, you just pull from it and do whatever you pull up. I think we did it. It was a little, I'd say a little more more difficult. I think theirs are more easier, which I kind of like. I thought when we did it with Dee, Dee we picked some harder ones. Dee, Dee probably still has them all. She actually probably wouldn't surprise me, um, owns them all still somewhere in her art room where I don't, I didn't keep it, any of that stuff. She probably still has them. Jean has a list. Okay, I figure someone kept the list. I knew I did not. Jean has a list. Okay, I figured someone did. And I like how they put them on popsicle sticks. And she does and Beth rolls the dice. And then whatever the dice comes up, that's how many prompts you do. And then she picks them out. Um, I, I think that's a neat way to do it. I think we've been doing seven prompts. And then... Um, this last night ended up being 12. Mindy likes it. She's been, she shows up to streams. Allie, she likes playing along. A few of our regulars. I haven't seen, I don't see Mindy at my streams too much anymore. I have, I do see other people's streams. All right, I'm going to dry this real quick. And it will go in and start putting some red on here and then uh, the doodles and then we're done I think let's see red uh, doodles oh, and then more doodles red and red barn red tree bottoms and then doodle and then we're going and then just and then I just need to go back in and just uh, straighten out my lines a little bit make them a little bit neater but this one black and white lines do a little bit better, but overall the gist of it will be done. And this is that thing kind of nice is this kind of painting you could go in here and you could um, just make the make the painting and then come back in and do the doodles like on it another day. Like you wouldn't have to do this at one sitting. Like you could just do the background and ouch. Yeah, how hot this heat gun gets. Um, and do the background and then come back in and doodle later. You know, if you don't have time to finish it, this could be one you paint it, come back to it, doodle it. You know, you may not have to do this all the way through like I'm doing. Oh, thanks, Vaughn. Okay, Joyce, we printed them out. 
Yeah, and then I keep it in my I like how they do that, and then that basically it'd be 12, I mean, it'd be the roll of the dice, so that would be 12 or less prompts per page. And then, and then, um, yeah, on the popsicle sticks, I mean, are there Michaels, the popsicle sticks, the pat wins, or whatever? Yeah, I like it. I, I enjoyed doing those. It was fun. Like, I was going in, grabbing buttons and beads and deli papers and envelopes and junk mail and, you know what I mean? And just, like, making a cohesive page is fun. I think it's fun to, to just um, get my red out. It's fun to do something different, but we're still doing mixed media, you know, but we're doing something different. And I think that's what keeps mixed media fun, you know, and um, everybody comes up with new ideas. And some of these, like I said, we've done this stuff a long time ago, but it's now, I guess, resurfaced, be becoming popular. It's like fashion. It's like everything else. It all comes and goes and comes back in, in and out style. So, um so I think it's kind of just coming, it's just back in style again. So I like it. I, I don't know. Like I'm trying to remember how much I participated in the past when we did the, um, we were doing them. I even owned the Kylie cards, but I thought hers were like not that simple. I know I still have the Kylie cards. 